The New Orleans Saints are putting Marcus Colston and Reggie Bush in their team Hall of Fame. Two part question for you guys. A, was Reggie Bush a good NFL player? And B, how many Vikings on the current roster end up in their ring of honor? Okay, so like his Saints career, I would put like an asterisk next to it because 2010 was like all the Heisman controversy that overshadowed the entire year. He never had great seasons. Like, I mean, I just think that the whole thing was his best years came after he was with the Saints. With When he was with Miami, he rushed over a thousand yards, almost nearly twice, Detroit too. Um, I don't think he was a great NFL player. I think he was serviceable. I think the hype surrounding him set him up for failure. And then on top of the Heisman controversy, that really did overshadow the end part of his career in New Orleans. That's probably, I, I mean, you want to, I don't know. The Saints have a lot of really good players. I just feel like he was a name that was so big and he did enough that they'll probably bring him in here and into the mix. Um, I have my list of. I just, see, I just wonder if, if you would put someone who is just okay. No. Like he was. I mean, I'm looking at his stat page and he caught a lot of passes. So that was effective for them. But he's kind of a scat back and he never played outside of his first year, 16 games with New Orleans. He was hurt all yeah. the time. He, you're right about him being better for Miami and to some extent Detroit as well than he actually Just was for the New team. Orleans Saints. Yeah. If they don't win the Super Bowl during his time there, he's looked at as a pretty big bust. So I'm kind of surprised that they're putting him in their team Hall of Fame. Yeah. And do you want my Vikings players? Yeah, I'm gonna put go in the ring? Yeah. All right. So I'm going to put Harrison Smith in there. It seems fairly obvious. Um, and Adam Thielen. I'm stopping there. I was going to consider Daniil Hunter. Um, too early. Too early. Yep. But, you know, if you think about it, okay, the guys that they have in there right now, I mean, like, City Rice is never going to get into the ring of honor, is he? No, like, I no mean, shot. There's, no. there's, other co there's other, like, core players of teams yeah. that are mm -hmm. not going to get into it. Like, I want to go elite of elite, even though it's not, it might not be the NFL Hall of Fame. Mm -hmm. Your team Hall of Fame should be, like, your best players. It should Absolutely. be a small number. Smith goes in for sure. Uh, Th Thielen probably goes in. But I, I was th thinking about this. Okay, so he and he goes in, and then I thought, well, would Diggs go in? And I thought, probably not. And then I thought to myself, Judd, why are you thinking that, that way? And, of course, it's because Thielen is a great story from here. If Thielen was from, let's say, Chicago, I, I think there'd be a chance, depending on the arc of his career, that he goes in. But I don't think it's the slam dunk that I probably do right now. So I would say the one surefire one that deserves it off this team, Harrison Smith. Yeah. Thielen, I'm a little bit more torn on and think I'm going down that path probably because of the story as much as the play. And the uh, book just very far away from being written on both of those guys in yeah. my mind. Well, and Diggs could still be a guy too. But as of today, my one guy for sure, Harrison Smith. And Reggie Bush was, I think, a very serviceable, good player, drafted far too high. Mm -hmm. The interesting thing about him, as I was going through and doing in-depth research for this segment. As everyone should. Is this. You should be doing it at home. If Reggie Bush was drafted, if Reggie Bush was coming out of USC, had been coming out of USC in April, and was taken, let's say, at the 10th spot, and used in today's league as a versatile scat back, I think he'd be pretty damn good. He was basically drafted just a decade, basically, too soon. Well, no, I, and the I way that. That, yeah, and the way that you use running backs now, the way that he now, was used at USC, I mean, he wanted to be like that exact same player, and the Saints just didn't make him. Which is really weird because Sean Payton's a great offensive mind. But I think that they used him to his strength, which was receiving early on in his career. 88 catches his first year. 73 the next year he was a weapon for them out of the backfield and they got away but from just it not like, in the yeah not in the traditional so I think he, he also got hurt too that was part of it well, I mean one year he's got 52 catches in 10 games so they're still throwing it to him but he's he just injured a lot his last year there he only played eight games so I think he was good but certainly he didn't have an opportunity or didn't deliver on the expectation of my god he's what a top yeah, two pick so yeah number two pick just in too the 2006 much draft. so we we agree on on Reggie Bush uh Jonathan yeah. any Vikings that were not mentioned that you think could make the uh ring of honor I think you mentioned it was too early for Daniel Hunter if he keeps going the way he's going right now then yes he'll get in I do have a question. If they win a Super Bowl and Kirk Cousins is the reason, does nope. he get in? Nope. He will. I, I, if, if, you, if you are the Super Bowl the winning Super quarterback, Bowl. you get in. It, it could be anybody. I, Tavares I, I, Jackson uh, could come back and play one game, but if it's the Super Bowl and he wins, he's in. If they win a Super Bowl, Jonathan Harrison, this town burns. Don't worry about it. We're not going <laughs> to have a There's no, no stadium point. left. Understand. 
Uh, that's that's a good one. Good question, though. For, I mean, yeah, for it's me, good, I, good that you I, consider. I agree with you guys. The the one that is a little bit difficult and might actually depend on how he does even this year is Everson Griffin because his perennial Pro Bowler, a great story of a guy who started off as a bit player who became really, really, really good. He has another great season, 12 sack season or something. Then I think he's going to have a really good argument for it. 